Welcome to Future Proof Accountants. My name is Neha and today we're going to talk about how we create a client profitability report. Now, what happens is as a service provider running an accounting or bookkeeping practice, what can sometimes happen is we can get really busy with helping our clients create those reports, helping them with running their businesses, growing their businesses, but forgetting our own practices. That's not a good idea. We need to set a good example and get into those reports so we can actually run a really profitable practice. If you don't look at the small parts of the business reporting, then it's going to be difficult for us to grow a practice with strong roots. So it is a good idea to keep an eye on client profitability report. Lots of other reports that you want to look at, like staff profitability, team leaders profitability, that sort of thing. But today's video is mainly around client profitability. And this one was one of the favorite reports. We ran a webinar recently, and I'll put the link down below as well, on practice reporting using XPM. So XPM is quite a loved software. A lot of practices use it. Um, some use it with love, some use it with frustration, but we do have a big group of accounting practices in Australia who use it heavily. And I know that um, they, there are practices outside of Australia in New Zealand, um, US who use XPM as well. So hopefully this will help you with uh, with some of the reporting right there. So I'm going to now share my XPM screen with you all. I will be sharing part of the screen for the confidentiality of my client name. So bear with me. If you look here where there is report section, there's standard reports which we can see right here, which are in build, which are already created by XPM. You then have the option of going to report builder. Now, to create a good client profitability report, I'm going to go to report builder. So I'll click on report builder now. And then it will take it'll take me to lots of options. So these are the reports that I've created, these are the custom reports, and then there is sample. So it's always a good idea to go to sample reports. The benefit of going to sample report before you create the report you want is you can start with something that you don't have to start from scratch. One of the really good reports here um, under samples, under job, is job profitability all completed last month. So I create lots of reports from this particular report. Now you want to know the way it works is if you want to summarize, because if I created a report like this and I would like you to give it a go, if you click on preview now, it's going to be very, very confusing because it will show via job numbers, which doesn't tell me much. I want it to be grouped by clients. So if I come here, It'll tell me rows grouped by the first field. So what I'll do is um, I will then come here and put the client on the top because then it will summarize by client. If I had job summary on the top, it'll then summarize by job summary. So I'm happy with that. That's all I'm changing, right? Again, once you start into, like once you get into it, you can change things. Like you might not be using estimated costs. I don't use estimated costs. I don't need that option. I don't use quotes within XPM. So I don't need that. So all I need is actual cost and billable amount and invoice amount. So I'm just going to take off the quotes right there. I love doing this from the start of the last month to the end of last month. That gives me clear understanding of the profitability. Then you can come here and change the name if you want. So I'll just call it client profitability report, um, all completed jobs. Now, this is basically for completed jobs, right? So the jobs that are not completed will not form part of this report. Now, this is ideally for practices that close jobs each month. If you don't close jobs each month, you can do quarterly. You can still do monthly that, you know, the only thing would be that your criteria for the report will change. You might do job date created, might have job date last invoice. You know, you, you'll change criteria according to how your practice XPM is set up. Now, when you click on preview, it will then come and show me on the left-hand side, 
is the name of the client that I've got completed, date, job number, name of the job, actual cost, um, billable amount, invoiced amount, and that's my profit. So, so this is just one example. It really helps, especially on the fixed fee clients, as to if I'm charging someone $500 a month, is it really costing $500 a month or is it costing me $700 a month? So if we do it more regularly, that's why I prefer to do it on a monthly basis rather than things getting out of hand. Actually, we go one step ahead. We check our work in progress each week as well. Every Friday, we do a work in progress check-in to make sure we are not going beyond the budget. So there are small things that you can include in your practice to make sure that things are running profitably, efficiently. So as promised, I will put the link down below on the webinar that we created on XPM practice reporting, where there's more and more discussion on how we create good reports beyond the client profitability report. If that's of interest that is available to purchase, feel free to do that. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your time and I hope you had fun and enjoyed something new. Thank you. Bye-bye.